let's go to the next question, which is uh, how to save presets and update the default configuration in the FPC. This is a really good question because I really enjoy FPC. For me, it's one of my uh, favorite plugins and the plugin that I really, really use a lot in FL Studio. And uh, you will see why. So let's go to FL Studio. And uh, to load the FPC, you just go here, drums FPC. And this is this has a very nice style to it. It's kind of a reminds me of a FPC, uh, MPC. That's called that's why it's called FPC probably. And uh, I actually don't know Fruity Programmer Controller, something like that. And uh, it's it's very it can be very powerful. So you can um, send you can put here uh, several files as you can see for instance in this side stick. If I go here very low, we can go very, uh, very degrees of um, levels here. And as you, as you saw, whenever I click on something, it shows which one it's being activated. So we have this one. So we have several levels of, um, of sounds or several sounds and they, they are mapped based on the velocity. So if I hit the, the um, note really hard, the, or really hard, it will be this one here, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one, and this one will be the softer one. So if I show you that, let's see here the side stick. Let me make this a little bit shorter. We can probably remove the mixer and also the channel rack and let's go to the side stick okay and let's do something like that so that i can show you okay let's do this going up okay, i hope this will show all the all the sounds you see this is the you see the yellow one, then this one, then this one, then that one. So if I go here, if I play a very, a very high note, this note will be played, the number four. If I play it a little bit less volume, it's number three. A little bit less volume, number two. And this one here with the lowest volume will be number one. So you can set this up, you can change this. So if you want to have something like that, So you can pretty much do whatever you want. So the question was, let me go back to the question, how to save presets and update the default configuration. So the default configuration is this one. So whenever, whenever you load FL Studio or FPC, this will be the default one. So let me go here to the channel rack. Let me load another one, FPC. And as you can see, it gave me the same configuration. Let's say that I want to have the default one the default one, not the default one, the empty one. Okay, let's say that I want to do this one. I want this to be my default one. So what I can do actually is go here and this uh, it's pretty much the same as save uh, a configuration or save a preset. And this, is, was, this was the question, how to save presets and update the default configuration. So these are linked together. So saving presets, it's the same of updating the default configuration is through saving a preset. And uh, let's go here and you save a preset by save preset as, and this will save every configuration that you have here in the F FPC. So let's do this, save preset as. And if we go here to the FPC, this is the, the um, image line FL Studio preset, plugin presets, generators and FPC. But this one here, the, this only showed me shows me the ones that I've created, not the default FPC uh, preset. So we have to find where this FPC uh, preset is located. So let's see if I can find that here in the browser. Let's go to plugin database, generators, drum, FPC. Let me see where this window shell menu, let's see. Properties, image line, 
database generators drums probably not this here plugins presets generators fpc okay no yes these effects okay let me see where can we find no no yeah probably i don't know where to find it let me see here in the options file settings data let's let's open this data it's not the place where you set your library or plugin location only change this okay uh, i don't want to change that i would like to open it but that's not opening it hmm. i will probably have to do it with a window here let me let me go here and change this so users users the Duart and uh, documents okay i think I, I understand now so this is sending me to my uh, local folder documents let's see image line and fpc data oh let's see packs okay these are the sounds actually plugin presets fpc see if the default is here no it's not okay so let me see uh, it's taking a little bit longer than i thought <laughs> it would be but uh yeah let's let's go here uh save preset as add um, i i have to find where the the folder uh is located because if i go here presets let's see yeah, this is still in my document folder so this is probably not where it is located so let me see here in my c let's go to program files image line this one image line uh, fl studio okay image line have a bunch of installations of FL Studio. Let's see plugins, fruity, generators, FPC, data. Uh, probably is this one here. Uh, let's see default layout. No. Uh, okay. Envelopes. Not here. Hmm. This is kind of. Yeah, this is the problem with with the FL Studio. I have to go into these folders. Let me see if I can find something else. Um, data, templates. Let's go to templates. Advanced, not 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 templates. Patches, plugin presets, generators, FPC, and here is the default one. Okay, finally I found it. So what you have to do is uh, you have to go to the C, then uh, uh, program, uh, let's see if this shows, okay, program files, x86, image line, FL Studio, and then you have to go to the version that you have, I have a bunch of them, data, patches, plugin presets, generators, and FPC. And then you have here the default. So let me copy this, let me paste this, and I will have here backup, let's call this backup. Okay, so now what I want to do is copy this uh, path. Let's see if that will work. Save preset. And let's paste this path here. And let's copy over this default one. Okay, so let's do that. Yes. And what will happen, hopefully, <laughs> is that whenever I bring another FPC, and I got it wrong. So this is not actually the default preset because the default one, uh, actually it is. Okay, so it's kind of kind of strange because the empty one, I overwrite it, I over overwritten. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so I should be able to do it like this. Yes, and whenever I load the default, okay, now I have the default as the blank one. So if I load it. 
oh it still loads this one so i don't know if that's possible to be honest because if i go here to backup if i load the default it shows the empty one so it's probably not loading the default it's probably loading something else this is kind of a, a um uh how can i say this is kind of the 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 way they do it they don't take the default parameters because if i go here to the backup they have it here but if i do the default one it's empty but every time that i open fpc it gives me this one here and then if i choose the default again it goes to empty so this is to show that um, it will not it will not matter if i do <clears throat> if i if you change the default or not it will never load the default so you shouldn't um, change the default one let me take this here let's take out the backup let's make the default the default as normal and now if i load the default it loads with this one so yeah they they probably are not using the default here the default preset they are using something else so you have always to go and select the empty one if you want the empty one there's probably a way to do this i'm not sure but um yeah probably you will have to ask image line for that and yeah that's it that's how you save presets you go here save preset as you do your changes and as you can see i have a bunch of presets i have more for my headbanging trap drums i have here the the my presets and i also have for soprano drums and also for samples from mars so you can do whatever your presets you like and whenever i want to do some kicks i just come here and i have a bunch of kicks here both for bank a and bank b so this is why it's very powerf powerful to have your samples in organized in fpc it's a very powerful way to have to work with your with your samples and it's very very good to to have it this way okay so that's that's it this this was kind of a rocky <laughs> explanation sorry for that again i said i'm going to do my i'm going to try to do my best to answer sometimes i, I have to do a little bit more research and um, on the spot is a little bit hard like it was with the td3 td3 um, i was not able to do exactly everything that i wanted i showed you how to work with it but it's it's not perfect and uh, this one also the same so yeah let's let's hope the the next question will work better